Blue Moon is Ethiopia's first youth agribusiness incubator. Uh, so starting with youth, well, you know, we have more than 70% of the Ethiopian population below the age of 30. So just between the ages of 20 to 24, we have 20% of the Ethiopian population, more than 20 four or five million people. In fact, twice the population of Rwanda is between the age of 20 and 24 here in Ethiopia. And so that's really the age that we want to work with uh, of people who are either in university or some other, you know, kind of training program and then say they want to start a business, working with them to make that happen. Um, Now, I chose agribusiness. And when we think of agribusiness, it's not just agriculture, which is, you know, farming. It's whatever happens before. So supplying inputs into agriculture uh, or what happens. And there's a lot that happens afterwards, processing, marketing, storage, logistics, you know, financial data, um, you know, data services, uh, waste management, um, energy uses, you know, in and out of agriculture. So, and when we talk about agriculture, we're not just talking about crops. We're also talking about dairy, livestock, honey, um, you know, uh, fisheries, um, agroforestry. So there's a, so it's actually a really huge thing that includes nutrition. People, you know, saying, okay, we can take food and make, you know, create a customized diet plan, for example, or other people saying we'll take agricultural waste products and turn that into furniture. So even that is part of what we do. So it's really, really broad. And so Now coming to the incubator part, what an incubator is, is basically it's a way um, to take people's ideas and incubate them. So if you think of what an incubator is, it's a, you know, like when babies first get born, they get put into this little basket. I mean, if if they have, uh, you know, premature uh, babies or if they come born with some issues, then they put into the um, into the neonatal, you know, intensive care unit where they're put into an incubator, which is basically where they're put in a comfortable surrounding. Uh, same thing with chickens, you know, to hatch the eggs, uh, uh, we put them into, we think of an incubator as somewhere where, you know, perfect light and kind of a soft little cotton, something that they're let, that the eggs will sit on while they're going to hatch. So the same idea with businesses, people have ideas, they don't know exactly how to put it all together. They don't know who to talk to. They don't know what experts they need to consult. They don't know where to get money. They don't know, you know, how to even register their company, a lawyer. Uh, They don't know if their idea makes sense. So we're like the lights and the cushion and the, you know, the nice comfy setting to get that egg to hatch. So that idea hatching is what we do. And that's what our incubator does. So we give coaching, uh, training, we match them with somebody that could be their mentor. Uh, We'll give them, you know, work, connect them to business service providers like lawyers, accountants, you know, human resource people to help them find like certain people that they need to hire, for example. Um, And then we'll connect them to investors. And so that's what our incubator does. Because people always want to know, what did you call your incubator blue moon? So the, you know, the expression once in a blue moon. So we say once in a blue moon, exceptional ideas turn into great companies that change the world. Because that's actually what we've seen, right? Is that, you know, it's not every company that's going to be that great. But once in a blue moon, you get that great idea. So that's kind of what we're trying to inspire. So in Blue Moon, there is, and in fact, we call the space Addis Garage. So it has this garage kind of feel. It is big and open. Um, and there is a, um, in Ethiopia, we call it a bajaj. But it's, uh, in other parts of the world, they call it a rickshaw. Uh, or a tuk-tuk, I think, in India. So it's kind of like that three-legged vehicle uh, with a little seat in the back and then like a, a scooter kind of um, handle uh, handlebar that, you know, the driver would use in the front. So three people, two sit in the back, one in the front. So it's kind of this uh, cute little thing. So that sits in the corner, like the Google pod where you can take a nap, go in and be by yourself. And then there's a big room, which we call the incubator room, where we do the training and you know, work with in sessions, group sessions. There's a big blackboard on the wall. People write crazy things. So whenever we have visitors, we've had all sorts of pretty, you know, cool high-level visitors. We had the Crown Princess of Denmark that came to visit. We had the head of state of, of Austria, the Chancellor of Austria. So whenever people come to visit, you know, all our, all our um, startups will write funny messages or uh, like when the U.S. ambassador came, some, you know, somebody drew the Ethiopian flag, the American flag, and then the ambassador came and wrote some, you know, inspirational quotes. And so we just invite people to use the board 
to do whatever they want. So it was kind of cool. Like around the elections, there was a lot of the U.S. elections. There was a lot of stuff on the board. Anytime that things are going on, people will use the board. So that that's a fun thing. And then around the um, corner, uh, there's a number of offices, of course. And then we have like these barrels that are set up as like a kind of like a wall, but then we'll take them down and use them as high tables or or when, or sometimes we use them for um, like what we call kind of like speed dating sessions when we introduce startups to mentors. So we have a, what we call a mentor mash. People will go from barrel to barrel. So it's very vibrant. Uh, we have a stage where people do pitches. Uh, we do a pitch competition every so often. So yeah, and then there's actually another part. Uh, so it's it's all these different spaces. Uh, and we have another part which is called Mercato, which means market. And in the Mercato, we have a lunch area and people will give lunchtime talks um, just to talk about like brown bags where they talk about their business and what they're thinking about and you know what they're trying to figure out. So yeah, so it's a, it's a kind of a very cool space. Uh, a lot of glass. Uh, the wall, the floors are kind of like a, a gray cement color. So it kind of looks like a garage. And it's meant to be creative and fun and bright. And there's blue and orange and green colors. And yeah, it's really cool. 